speak to the situation and put it in the sea. See there means forever gone, never to be remembered again. That's what he does with our sins. When you ask him to forgive you of your sins, he removes your sins from the east, from the west. And then he says he casts it in the sea of forgetfulness. That means quit saying things today and rebuilding your mountain in the morning. The Bible says, the Bible says, but at 30, when he walked into the waters, the heavens opened. And when he was emerged in the muddy rivers of the river of Jordan, and came up with a wet beard and wet face and wet hair, and he was drenched with immersion. When he came up out of the waters, the skies opened up. And his real father says, you are my beloved son. But look what God said to him, the 12th verse. Let's jump to the 12th verse. Then Isaac sowed. Here's what God said. Don't move. Don't do anything. I want you to sow into this famished land. Nobody else can grow anything. Nobody else has a job. Nothing is happening to nobody else. But you start sowing right now in this land. Don't move. Don't do anything. You stay patient. I put you here before this crisis. And I'm going to deliver you out of this crisis. A miracle is about to happen. There will always be some kind of distraction that will come into your life. That's only a sign something about ready to happen. You better unfold your arms. You better get your arms unfolded and clap your hands. Jesus said it best. The kingdom of God suffereth violence and the violent taketh it by force. You want a miracle? You go after the miracle. You draw nigh to God. God will draw nigh to you. Quit your belly aching. Quit your crying. It's time to be courageous and strong.